there are moments when I'm in my studio when I have no idea why I'm doing what I'm doing. And these are moments when I really challenge and question myself and question my practice. I'm Natasha Vasquez, and I am the Creative Arts Programming Manager at The Current at Bahamar. I've always been interested in, in just the painting language, you know, the way in which we move paint and portray things upon a canvas and why. What we're doing at The Current is really like creating something beyond the sort of stereotypical sun, sand and sea experience for, the, for a guest coming to the Bahamas. It's really kind of providing an experience to learn more about the culture and the history and, and kind of the, the ins and outs of, of the people and the soul of the Bahamas. The work is inherently bright and colorful and vibrant and energetic. I remember having a professor in university who would ask me, why are your paintings always so bright? And I asked him, have you ever been to the Bahamas? It's incredibly vibrant and the color and the light, the light is so pure in this country. It's like no other place that I've ever been. I often wonder, how my paintings might look if I lived in New York City or in Iceland, for example. How would it change? For me, the process of creating is the most important part of it. When I finish a painting, I don't even want to look at it anymore. And it's not because I'm not proud of it. It's because I just feel like I've given it so much of me that it's almost exhausting to look at. <laughs> The space is, is unique. It kind of gives you a really nice break from the miseries of being in your studio. Just kind of feeling overwhelmed by what you're doing. So it's really nice to be able to kind of get out of that and just be in the fresh air and be with all these guys and, and sort of clean your palette a little bit. I'm interested in using organic form because I want my work to feel familiar to a viewer. I want people to see things in it that they might see in nature or that they might see on themselves, their own bodies. It's a visual play. I want my viewer to contemplate the construction of my work, sort of sit in front of it and wonder and have this curiosity for how it was created. 